Hey there, welcome back. Normally I would do a um, uh, Total OS Today weekly report, but let's talk, uh, let's do a comments corner, talk about what happened with Yahoo this past week. More specifically, what happened to Yahoo uh, two years ago. All right, so if you haven't heard the news, apparently we were just told, those of us who use all 500 million of us who use Yahoo Mail, that, well, let's just say that security was compromised. So some comments, not a lot. So let's do a quick comments corner, and then I'll give you my final thoughts on this. Mark Lilly, hello, Mark. Yahoo is still big in many Asian and African countries. Uh, Maybe it is. I suppose it is. Of course, I had to reply, not anymore, right? David Kahn, hello. David, just another reason to not use Yahoo and use Gmail or a private email server. Well, I suppose if you want more privacy, uh, yeah, I suppose you could. Kevin, what's up? Kevin says, damn, I use Yahoo. That sucks. I had to reply, yes, of course. Zanaris, hello there. Toss, this one ticks me off big time. People who recycle passwords and security questions are going to get hammered on this one. The timing of this is terrible. Uh, you know what, Zanaris? I can't think of any time that's good to lose any kind of uh, security on the internet, right? And I did reply, stay vigilant, trust nothing, I guess. Avion Tech PC Repair One. Hello. Yahoo was a great company when it launched, and for a few years afterwards, it started deteriorating rapidly toward the end of the first decade of the new millennium, and by 2009 or 10, it was an utter disaster. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Their chat servers were largely abandoned due to all sorts of, all sorts of criminals who actually took over them for some time. Clearly, the administration didn't really care. It only took action when the federal government came in to investigate instances of predatory pedophiles Ooh, taking, advantage, taking advantage of Yahoo services along with the assortment of other interesting people. I feared Yahoo since around 2010 and am at a loss as to why they still exist. You know, it just dawned on me that uh, Verizon bought Yahoo or was in the process of buying Yahoo. So I wonder if there is some kind of um, subject to clause where if if it was not known uh, that Yahoo was hacked, does a company, can a company back out of buying uh, Yahoo? I'm not sure. C128D, hello. I only use mine as a throwaway address for forms. Love how they waited so long to get around to notifying us about it. Yep. Wonder how this will affect the Verizon merger buyout. Yeah, I just talked about that. Uh, but considering how Verizon is, it probably won't matter. I had another thought. Uh, thought. So, Verizon, can you hack me now? Just a joke. I did reply, Yahoo now becomes becomes Yaku. <laughs> See replies, I love it. Linux Mangaka, I think that's how we say it. Someone's got to mad. Someone's got to be mad for their inactive account terminate and carry their vengeance. I've I've known that feel feel that vengeance. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't feel vengeance. I'm just mad like the other 500 million people. James, 64468. Hello, James. I know that was a problem for years. I'm glad I stopped using Yahoo for years. I did reply, I guess some companies just don't care. Yeah, I used to chat online on Yahoo. Some people had to hack. Some people had to hack to get their account back. Hmm. Little too late for Yahoo to bounce back. Only reason they got brought was probably their ad, <clears throat> their ad technology. Uh, maybe. You know, one final thing about this, we've talked about, you know, security windows versus Linux. You know, once you get on the web, I'm not really sure about security. Once you get on the web, all bets are off. So if you if you really want to be secure, the only way that I know is just don't go on the web, period. That's my final thought on this topic of Yahoo being hacked. All right, if you haven't already... Uh, please vote for this month's YouTuber of the Month. Remember, each comment counts on one uh, as one vote. It does not necessarily uh, have to be about uh, technology. Uh, thank you for watching and listening. 
And uh, any questions or comments, post them below in the show notes. That's all I have for this one. As always, enjoy your technology, and please don't text and drive. Be safe.